quick note, one of the games that I'm going to talk about in this video and show a little footage of is called A Robot Named Fight. It's kind of gross. Uh, it'll only be on there for about 15 seconds, but I uh, just wanted to warn anyway. Thanks. My name is Kay Kairos, and today we're going to talk about my insane idea. This is development log zero for Metroidvania month 20, and the game I'll be making with my teammate 909 Crime starting this Monday. I've been doing Metroidvania month for literal years. Uh, this is the jam where you have to make a Metroidvania in, wait for it, 30 days. I was involved in the 10th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th jams. Now let's talk a second about the idea of procedural generation. I'm taken with the idea of procedural generation. Games like Rogue, B Rogue, Spelunky, and others have a lot of interesting ideas about how to make a game that makes its own environments for a player to explore. I've made a lot of games that make their own worlds. Only some have been proper traditional roguelikes, but I obviously love using procedural generation. I've been toying with the idea of procedurally generated Metroidvania maps for a long time. And this time, I have the drive and someone who was crazy enough to sign on for the project with me. Here's the prototype map generator in Megasus. It's pretty good so far, and I think it'll translate well into Godot. I plan on using seeded generation for this project. The game will pick a number from a list, whatever number it chooses as its quote unquote random seed will generate a consistent map each time. There are many reasons that one might do this, but the main one is troubleshooting. It's easier to figure out what's going wrong if you can expect a consistent result. Now I wanna mention here, as you may have noticed, that the grid of rooms is nine by six, and each room has up to four different maze nodes in it. More on that later. Let's talk about influences. A robot named Fight fits the general Metroidvania experience into a roguelite structure. I actually only played it for the first time in this last month, so its influence is pretty recent, and I'm planning to borrow some ideas. Weapon Hacker is a much smaller game, but still very inspiring. It's more arcadey in its map design and execution, and yes, it is a bit less polished, but it's a lot of fun to play, and its eponymous weapon hacking mechanic is fun to experiment with. Also, it has a pretty nifty soundtrack. I have played a lot of this one. It deserves a lot more attention than it got, in my opinion. Brogue, or B Rogue, and Spelunky. I really want to lean into traps and roguelike -like spaces as much as combat, if not more so. Those games do those things very well. I've also been working my way through a giant YouTube playlist on these topics. Thanks especially to Ingenious Clown for his videos on procedurally generated Metroidvanias. For the first time ever, Metroidvania Month will have a mandatory theme. So even though creating original art and music assets during the jam has always been expected, and the meat of coding also needs to be done then, I really haven't been able to speculate much about what to do thematically. I have some other ideas that I'm working through with 909 Crime regarding our theming, aesthetics, and mechanics for combat and traps. The generative aspects of this project are really exciting to us, but we also want to be very intentional about its non-generative aspects and how they work, as well as how they fit in with the rooms we design and the overall map structure. Where do we go from here? The truth is I don't exactly know where this is going to go from here. I'm hoping where it goes is a finished game that is good and quality and does something new and different that I haven't really seen done before or at least does some things that have been done before in a slightly different way. But we'll see. Next month is going to be very interesting. Anyway, I guess it's time to sign off now, but I'm not really sure what to say for these things. So uh, goodbye and uh, have a good day.